So today I'm going to run through how to mount the Starlink dish to a tin roof um, using the mount supplied from our shop. So if you haven't got one of them yet, this is the kit and that's pretty much everything you need um, in terms of mounting hardware. The tools you'll need is a spirit level, silicon, vice grips or pliers, a 13mm spanner, 5 16 tech bit and a 13mm um, spanner or power drill bit makes it a bit easier now I'm not going to be running the cable today but it is recommended when you do run cable the penetration point is to put a deck tight over the top of it okay so to begin with you want to make sure that there's no obstructions to the south so that the Starlink dish has clear line of sight to the satellites up there somewhere. Now in terms of setting up this mount I always like to have the stay arms higher than where the base plate is going to be. When screwing in the base plate look for the row of techs running along and line up the holes matching with the base plate itself. It's a highly recommended to put a big dob of silicon over each hole before putting this down and then screwing one screw and the second screw into place. The base plate is now securely locked. I just want to reiterate, always put silicon underneath those holes. Attaching the main pole to the base plate is fairly simple. You just line up the two holes as it's harder with one hand and then put the bolt through those two and tighten. Like so, now that I have two hands, or one hand, don't tighten firmly just yet. We still have to do the stay bars. So you'll notice with the stay bars, they're telescopic into each other for one, but the end bit is dead straight. It is a good idea to get vice grips or pliers just to bend them up a little bit, just to add the angle to the stay bar, like so. You can see the angle will do that at both ends. Just to add with the stay bars from the main pole, it's good to have them evenly angled, just to add extra support in both directions. The tech screw that you're taking out that the stay arms attaching to always a good idea if it's an old tech replace it with a brand new -y. corrosion and stuff can add to that and whoever put it in probably did a crappy job anyway if you're in a hurricane or like monsoonal type area these attachments here add to the water ceiling they're a good idea to use um, regardless as they add to the waterproofing measures of the tech. Again, put a nice big dollop of silicon under that as well and then tighten. Do the same on the other side so that you got the two stay bars in that come back to the main pole. Bring the stay arm up in line with the holes of the main pole and add the bolt through. Add the other um, apologies for the camera angle I've only got two hands and then tighten that screw and you're set once that's bolted in you'll notice the main pole can move in and out this is where we need spirit level and we move the pole back until we get level on the back side and level from the side as well. Once you have level, find the little tech screws and then down the base of the stay arms is a small hole. This is where you put the tech in to maintain the level of the mount. Once the techs are in on both stay arms, the bracket's in place and it's solid as a rock. Next, grab your Starlink dish. You'll have to have your cable already run up either through the tube or on the outside, depending what you like to do, and insert it. 
when inserting the Starlink dish, line the locking nut up with the cable groove and then you'll need to use a little bit of force to bring it down and click. Now from here I've been told you got to grab the mask and shake it and say that's not going anywhere. Next the final piece is just to tighten the locking nut. This stops any movement of the dish up or down so no wind can disrupt it at all. And that's it people. That's how you install Starlink using one of our mounts from our shop on a tin roof. Happy internetting.